Hello, my name is Aubrey. I'm so glad you're here because today I'm going to be doing my May TBR. So it's been quite a while since I've done a monthly TBR. I stopped doing them, I want to say, last year or maybe two years ago. I just had a lot of trouble keeping up with them month to month, but also my eyes are always much bigger than my stomach when it comes to creating a TBR list. Like, I just always want to pile so many books onto the list that it's ridiculous. Ridiculous. But I've been reading so much lately that I feel like I kind of need to go back to a more monthly thing. So here we are today with a May TBR, the books I'm hoping to get to in the month of May. Now, May <laughs> this year is going to be kind of a crazy month. So I'm getting married. Uh, at the very beginning of June, like the first week of June. I'm leaving for New York at the end of May. I'm going up to uh, see a Taylor Swift concert and also my bachelorette party is gonna be that weekend. So that's gonna be like the last weekend in May and then my birthday is on the 30th. So it's just like, it's just gonna be kind of a crazy month with a bunch of wedding prep and stuff like that. So yeah, I mean, I'm still hoping to get through a lot of books, but <laughs> I think I'm gonna be pretty busy and I just I don't know how much reading I will realistically get done but I'm gonna do my best so I have some books to talk about let's get into it first up I am hoping to finish Clockwork Princess I am pretty close to the end I still have maybe a hundred pages to go no more like 200 pages to go I have been loving my reread of this and I am not super looking forward to the ending because I cried my eyes out the first time and and I know I'm gonna cry again. I've already teared up like several times. <laughs> So um, yeah, but hopefully I will finish this in May. And then I'm also hopefully going to finish The Undertaking of Heart and Mercy. I've only read like a teeny tiny little bit of this. I brought it with me to a doctor's visit because I didn't want to be reading A Clockwork Princess in public in case I started to cry. So I brought this instead. I like it so far and I'm excited to finish it. It is very whimsical so far. So. It's not even set on Earth like I thought it would be. It's set in this, like, I'm not that far into it, so I don't fully grasp the world building yet, but it's like this town and there are like demigods and other kinds of people and they, I don't know, there's like this like creepy void surrounding them, I think, and they can go through these portals and they're like monsters in the void. And so one of our characters, Heart is a marshal who like goes out and takes care of these monsters. And then we also have Mercy who is an undertaker for dead people. <laughs> At the beginning of the book they absolutely hate each other. It's a romance so I'm like I think they're gonna fall in love at some point. But yeah they have started to converse through anonymous mail. <laughs> they started writing each other letters but they don't know that they're the ones that they're writing to. I don't think I'm explaining this well, but um, it's cute so far and I want to finish it. <laughs> okay, so I, this past month, kind of on a whim, decided to re-pick up Jade City. I had gotten about halfway through that book sometime last year and I set it down. It wasn't like a hard DNF. It was just kind of a, I'm not feeling this at the moment type thing. So I had set it down. A friend of mine had mentioned that she read it and then it got me wanting to like finish it so that we could talk about it. I decided to pick it up again. I really ended up enjoying it and then I have already read Jade War, the second book. I finished it yesterday. So I'm hoping to get to Jade Legacy, the third and final book in the Greenbone Saga trilogy. Is that what it's called? Hold on, I'm gonna look it up. Yeah, the Greenbone Saga. So hoping to get to this third book and finish it is quite a chunker. I am terrified. Fonda Lee is not super kind to her characters. I don't know, I feel like I'm gonna have to read it like through my fingers like this. <laughs> But yeah, I am also excited to finish it up and find out what happens. I'm very attached to all of these characters, despite how morally gray they may be. I love them very fiercely and I need to know what happens to them. Okay, and then I have a somewhat tentative one because this is going to depend on whether my hold from the library comes in because I would prefer to listen to it on audio, but it is A Court of Silver Flames. I finally got around to reading A Court of Frost and Starlight, the no novella this past month. I didn't like it. <laughs> 
I'll talk about that in my wrap up, but I do feel like I should just go ahead and at least attempt to read this. Someone just started laundry downstairs, so I'm sorry if you can hear that. Yeah, I just, I want to go ahead and read this while the trilogy is still really fresh in my brain and I remember who all the characters are and I kind of have an idea of what's going on. I do have some hope for this book because we are no longer following Feyre. We are now following her sister Nesta, who I like a lot more than Feyre. I really am very sick of Feyre, so a change of perspective is very welcome. I don't know, I'm still sort of holding out hope that I will like this. And then, of course, once I finish A Clockwork Princess, I am hoping to finally get to the Last Hour series, starting with A Chain of Gold. I'm very, very excited for this trilogy. I saw the audiobooks were on Scribd, so I may attempt the audiobooks and see how I like them. But yeah, I just, I really love the infernal devices. There's just something about it that is so cozy and lovely. I'm just obsessed with all the characters and I love the time period and the, the London atmosphere. It's just, it works for me. At least it worked a lot better for me than the original City of Bones books did, so I am very hopeful that I'm going to love this. I am also hoping to finish Lost in the Moment and Found, the seventh novella? What number are we on? I think seventh novella of the Wayward Children series. I'm likely to finish this today, actually. <laughs> I've been listening to the audiobook. I have 57 minutes left. I love this series dearly. So far this entry has been really good and I'm curious to see where it goes because these books are always a little bit... They range from being kind of bittersweet to being utterly devastating. <laughs> so I'm kind of holding my breath until the end of this one. And then I have a couple of options that are a little more just sort of like, if I get to them, that would be nice. I put the Dance of Thieves duology on here because I just finished The Remnant Chronicles and I loved it and I am sad that it's over and these are spin-off books set in the same world and so I just thought that it might be fun to stay in the same world for a little bit longer. I don't own these yet. I may try to pick them up on audio since that's how I listened to The Remnant Chronicles. I listened to those on audio as well. I just think it would be nice to go ahead and read those. I saw Barnes & Noble had like a beautiful special edition of Dance of Thieves, so I may try to pick that up. And then I also put The Cruel Prince on here with a big question mark. I am very much still in a YA mood, so I may try to get to this trilogy this month. Maybe if I have time. I don't know. I'm still really curious about it, and I just think it would be fun to finally get around to reading that series. But if I decide against The Cruel Prince, I thought that I might instead pick up The Winner's Curse by Marie Rukoski. I picked these special editions up, I think, last year. They were Lumer Crate editions. I think they're super pretty, but I haven't read the trilogy yet and I feel like if I have beautiful special editions of them I probably <laughs> should try to get around to reading them sooner rather than later. So yeah I don't know too much about this series. I think we're following a princess of some kind and she ends up buying a slave kind of by accident but I think he then becomes her bodyguard or something. I don't really know. <laughs> This is like an older booktube favorite. I've been meaning to read it for years and years. I just think this would be a fun one to get to sometime soon. So yeah, that is my May TBR. I tried to like smush it down as much as possible because I didn't want to pile too many things on it and stress myself out, but I think I could comfortably get through most of the things I showed you today. I hope you all are doing well and enjoying the lovely spring weather if you're somewhere that gets spring weather. <laughs> I know not everywhere has like all four seasons. Please let me know what's on your May TBR. What are you planning to read soon? Please like the video if you liked it and subscribe if you want to see more from me. I hope to see you next time. Bye!